Hey guys, welcome to Oxy Vlogs. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the notification icon so you will not miss anything. Dubai is an amazing city, but as we know, every city has some cons of living. So in this video, I will review them. So what are the cons of living in Dubai? Number one, weather. It is very specific here. From May to September it can be extremely hot and humid. That's why most people try to go on holiday during this month because there are not many things to do in Dubai. You can't spend much time outdoors. Uh, people usually spend their days in the office, in the car, in the malls, in any other air-conditioned premises. Uh, that's why if you don't like heat, if you don't like sun, if you don't like beach, probably Dubai is not for you because summer in Dubai is 12 months a year. In addition to weather, this city is not that green as many other cities and countries in Europe, in Asia, in US. But yes, there are some areas that are green in Dubai, but overall the city is quite urban and that's what I really miss in my home country, nature. Dubai is a comparatively new city, it's growing very fast and you may see ongoing construction in some areas. When you are looking uh, for a property, you may find attractive prices, but make sure that there is no construction next to it, loud construction, because living in that apartment can be quite annoying. Public transportation is great in the city, but it's not, the network is not that developed. Um, Dubai is a city that has several prime locations, so I cannot say that it has one center. So there is downtown Dubai, Dubai Marina, Palm Jumeirah and many, many other areas. Uh, so if you want to move around the city, you need a car or a taxi. Yes, we have metro, we have buses, we have tram, but you can't reach all areas by public transportation. I've been living in Dubai for eight years, but still I have a very like, strange feeling. I cannot say that it's my home. Uh, why? Because uh, in Dubai you depend on your visa and many other factors. So if you don't have visa, you need to leave this country. That's why when people come here for work, the employer is their sponsor. Uh, the employer gives visa, but once you lose your job, you lose your visa and you need to go back home or find another job quickly. So that's why many people always think where they will go next. Because in this country, it's impossible at the moment to get citizenship for the majority of people. There are some uh, new rules and new laws how you can get it, but it's for very specific people. In general, it's, it's impossible to get citizenship in this country at the moment. But hopefully in the future, something will change. Another challenge that many families face in this country is school fees. They are very high. You can find the prices here. And these fees don't include uniform, transportation, books and so on. That's why many families leave Dubai when their kids go to school. It's so easy to spend money in Dubai. Dubai has a lot of things to offer and you want to try everything. And overall, there are not many things that you can do in Dubai for free. Every time you go out, you want to meet with friends, you need to spend money. That's why you need to be uh, very wise with your budget. And once you get your paycheck, always put some money on the savings account. Because otherwise, uh, you can end up just having zero on your balance. And probably one of the biggest expenses most residents have is rent. It's quite high in Dubai. Due to COVID-19, rent went down, so at least something good. <laughs> but still, overall, it's quite high. And how the system works in Dubai. If you want to rent an apartment, you need to sign a yearly contract and pay by checks. Usually, uh, you pay by four checks, by two checks or by one check. But now, due to this situation, of course, it's very negotiable. Many landlords allowed to pay by 12 checks, but still it's not easy to find such deals. If you pay by four checks, it means you need to pay for three months in advance. So if you're moving to Dubai, you need to take it into consideration that if you're gonna rent an apartment, sometimes you need to pay for several months upfront. But of course, currently many landlords are struggling because many people left Dubai and you still can find some good deals. You can find apartments where you can rent on a monthly basis, but 
the rent can be higher. Another thing that I want to highlight, be ready to work hard in Dubai. When I speak with my European friends, uh, most of them are saying that they work in Dubai longer hours, they work overtime, sometimes they work on weekends, and most companies don't pay for it. When you come here, you may expect better salary, it's tax-free, but you will work more, you will work longer hours, because remember, you depend on your employer. They pay your salary, they give you visa, so let's say they use you as much as they can. So these are cons of living in Dubai. To be honest, I've been living here for many years. I faced uh, so many challenges, but still I love the city. I love the opportunities I have here, the lifestyle. So I don't have any plans to leave the city in the nearest future. Thank you for watching. If it was useful, please support me with your likes. And if you want to know more about my daily life, follow me on Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye bye.